Let's give a clap offering unto the Lord. I expect us to clap greater. Let's clap for Jesus. 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 Let's clap for If we pray for a whole hour, if you clap for a whole hour, for a whole hour, God deserves more. Yes, some people that they are looking for their lives. One why me lati me? One why me lati me? They are looking for breath to breathe. They want to breathe. Hallelujah. I want to come. Why am I laughing? Me. They are looking for ways to breathe. Along the day, me at TSC. And God sustain your life and mine. One friend in Kotoma for me. They are not giving you oxygen to breathe. One day, one day, they be told one be lost. Pushed you to where you are this morning. I want to come more. Want be want to carry the bag. Some people they don't know they are taking them all over the place. One one near but they make jaya toro. And they are in the middle of heaven and earth. One one but they want be a one lot. And they don't even know where they are taking them to. I want you to soak one breath in your mouth. And people are weeping and asking God. Don't let them die. I want you to clap for Jesus. God, I didn't collect money or anything else from me. I want you to clap for Jesus. God, I didn't collect money or anything else from me. I want you to clap for Jesus. God, I didn't collect money or anything else from me. To redeem me. God has shown me mercy. In His great grace. Begin to clap for Jesus. Say, "Ancient of days, I thank you. Alpha Omega, I thank you. Alpha Omega, I thank you. The first and the last, I thank you. The one who is worthy of my praise. 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 Ma pato of Jesus, so we thank you, Jesus. Moda ogo para. I give all glory back. Moda ola para. I give honor back. Moda inye para. I give praises back. So we thank you, Jesus. I say thank you, Jesus. Lord, accept our thanks. Accept our praises. We thank you for the testimonies we've received. Lord, it's you. We give all glory back to your God. It's beyond our knowledge. It's beyond our comprehension. We thank you for the battles you conquered. We thank you upon this mountain that we did not lose anybody. We didn't stand a minute silent. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you so much. Over the choir, we thank you. Over the ushers, we thank you. Over the husbands and wives, we thank you. Over the children, over those around us, over this country we are in, over Nigeria. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you do today. Glory unto your name. Jesus, Oluwa to Lugalawa. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. I want us to be seated. And let us clap for Jesus. Who believes in God? That me and that person will give testimony next week. If that person believes, let us shout hallelujah. Who believes? That they will get to a certain stage. Me and that person. That will be borrowing nations' money. Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you believe, shout hallelujah. There's some difference between saying amen like you just believe. Or that you believe wholeheartedly. Who believes in God? That they will borrow money to nations. Who believes in God? That they will borrow money to nations. Who believes in God? To nations, you will get to that stage. I will get to that stage according to the word of the Lord. He said, We shall not borrow, but we will lend to nations. If you believe in God, shout hallelujah! If you believe in God, shout hallelujah! 
Mororo jade. I send the word out. Bo ti shami. As you say, amen. Eni to pe mi fashion. The one that called me will sanction it, amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's be seated. I want to plead with us this morning. Firstly, if we used today just to give thanks, God deserves more. There's no time we show ourselves in his presence that we don't have testimonies to give. It's not that we know how to pray too well. It's God that didn't betray his covenant. There are certain churches that they are looking for such grace as we have, but they don't experience it. We may not know the goodness of the Lord, and we don't usually honor things that should be honored. Respect. If you see certain churches, the testimonies that we receive, they will package it, they will share it. And they will share it out. And even all the members of the church will be sharing but out those testimonies. But this thing doesn't let us understand the greatness and goodness and of God. Go so Anyone that hasn't lost their arm, they won't know the usefulness of the arm. Ask the people that have had COVID and then it's hard for them to breathe now. They will tell you the value of being able to breathe easily. If you see someone that cannot breathe for like a few yeah. minutes, when they now oh my God, get back they will believe that someone controls the life of people. So if we used today just to give thanks to God over all the goodness he has done and some people didn't come out they are shy. They can't say what God has done but I pray in the name of God you will accept our thanks as a church. Amen. God will accept our thanks as a church. Amen. And the mouth of our thanks we will not in go the sour. name of Jesus. Amen. The second thing that God placed in my mind before I pray there's no time we come before the presence of the Lord that God is not already prepared for us or has something that he wants to do in our lives. There's no time when we come into the presence of God that God is not already prepared for us or has something that he wants to do in our lives. But there's something that can make you lose out of what God has in store if your heart is not connected in the church. Sometimes we sit down here but our spirit is absent. We, think, we allow worries in our hearts. Things that have no meaning. We have put it into our hearts so much. I want to plead with you today. You can be here next week Sunday with your great testimony. If all your heart is connected with the word of God. I remember one day I've said it here before. It was the first day that the man of God will see a vision. They were in church. Yeah, that is someone was like me. And that Solomon was beside him. Uh, that time in the Sunday school, they are always being beaten if they open their eyes during prayer. When the prayer is going so on. So they are already used to it. And the ushers, they have the permission to beat people's children. Not here. Yeah. There, over so there. It is not just one mother that gives birth to the children. Everyone has given birth and takes then care of them. As long as the person is like a mother or a parent so to them. But they are entitled to rebuke them. And the mother will not say anything. So, so it makes us close our eyes. So and that closing of eyes makes your heart connected with God. Sometimes they say if you are not grown spiritually. If they see visions or they tell people about visions, some people they would close their eyes so nothing would distract them. And if you see people that are singing sometimes, they will close their eyes so they can sing with the Spirit of God. So they will not see all the distractions around them. They will lose themselves in spirit. It's because they want to hear from the heavens. So this day, the man of God closed his eyes. 
Lord. And then the patron of the church was praying. And he said, where the angels are so much and they remove their crowns. And the man of God was saying in his heart that this person must be lying. Has he gone there before? And that time, the man of God did not have enough understanding of the Bible. But he was using his spirit to connect with the prayers. Where we are is so powerful. And God is in this place. He said, the house of prayer shall be my house. I want to pray for somebody. The battle that has brought you here today. Before you leave this mountain. That battle will be conquered. Amen. If your spirit is connected, you will say a mighty amen. I speak in the name of the one I created heaven and earth. Shout a mighty amen. No matter how hard the battle is, that battle will be conquered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, the man of God was saying in his heart <inaudible> that this person must be lying to us. <inaudible> that he hasn't gotten there before. <inaudible> How did he know <inaudible> that they're removing their crowns? <inaudible> Immediately, <inaudible> the man of God's eyes were opened <inaudible> and he saw he was in somewhere <inaudible> and he saw so much crowds <inaudible> and they were standing before of that person <inaudible> and they removed their crowns <inaudible> and they were shouting holy. <inaudible> I didn't, the man of God did not see who they were shouting <inaudible> holy to but he saw that person, and he saw a woman as well that had a child with yes, her. Like and immediately, he wanted Daddy Solomon to see what he was seeing. That what the person is saying, that's what he's seeing. And then the vision was removed. And he saw that he was in the church. He was just within a minute. That's when the man of God knew that if someone's heart is connected, God will speak to the person again. I pray for someone once more. What is in your heart? that is causing you pain that you are weeping concerning except you don't say amen mercy will solve it today amen mercy will solve it today amen mercy will solve it amen in the name of Jesus God said to speak to us that what is so good is for you to release your time for God. I'm pleading with you in God's name. I want to tell you the rewards in serving God. I'm pleading with you in God's name. It's good for you to be a slave to God more than to be a slave to another human being. So many things that you can give your time to. God has given us wisdom more than the other. And we understand things differently. I want you to think today. What can I do for God? What can I do for his kingdom? To make it increase. How can I have an impact in the kingdom of God? What does the Bible tell us? Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Verse 33. I'm looking for someone that can quickly read the Bible. Matthew 6. God bless you, ma. Yes, ma. Yes. Yes, ma. There's, it's telling us that there's no one on earth that doesn't have something they are looking for. There's no one. But the command he gave unto us is to seek his kingdom. We we'll see some people as we are doing what we are doing. Some may take pictures. Some may record. Like two, three words. And once they've recorded it, after the program they might put it on the page of the church some people God has given them understanding more than that they know what they, are, they will be able to do with those things not everything is about money but God wants you to do something for him he has given you certain wisdom he has given you certain knowledge he has given you certain understanding he sustained you for a reason my question today is what God has given unto you, what are you using it for? In what way are you using it to lift the name of God? I pray in the name of God today. Everything that your heart desires, as you say, Amen, as you release yourself for God, Jesus will release to you, Amen. Jesus will release it to you, Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You can get to a certain stage 
and you even not looking for anything. You can get to a certain stage. You won't be looking for anything. For those things you'll be looking for you. There's nothing that your heart may desire as you think it in your heart. It will be locating you. But before you can get to that stage, God is asking for something from you to seek after his kingdom. That you should put his thoughts to heart. Let his will and his love be in your heart. What does the Bible tell us? Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Verse 25. Verse 25. Yes, ma. 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 God bless you. We can read that lesson when we get home. He says, Yes, ma'am. 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 And in this meeting today, I want you to go into a covenant with God. And I want you to look at the way that God has blessed you. That I want to release myself for God in this aspect. It may be your voice. It may be finances, your money. It may be wisdom. It may be power and strength. There are some people that entered into a covenant. When they get to a church, they will say the altar we are in, they believe believe that that is where God descends. And they want that place to be so beautiful. And they are thinking, their thoughts, everything that they are trying to do, they want the altar to be in good condition. They will look at times. How does my house look? How much more the house of God? They want the house of God to be beautiful. What they have been called to do is what they are doing. Some people call it a calling. That's their calling. I want me that one. And there are some people, they are working in the house of God, is to take care of people that are lacking in any way. Pastor, sorry. If anyone comes to you, or they need something, by the grace of God, I want to be able to take care of that aspect. And there are some people as well, how much is the church spending per month? They desire in their heart, I want to be doing it as well. They can and start little by little and by the grace of God God will keep blessing them to you they will be greater but God wants you to do something yourself I pray for someone here today everything that your creation is searching for as you say amen mercy will place in your hands amen mercy will place in your hands Amen. There are people running helter skelter. In this world we live in, there are some people looking for protection. There is no prophet number they don't have. They are looking for protection. You don't need protection if you have God and you serve God. He will be the protector for you. Are we here at church? There are some people looking for jobs. The time that you put God at heart, they will be looking for you with different jobs. The day that you allow God to do wonders in your life, there is nothing your heart desires that God will not give unto you. Let's look into the Bible. Acts 9. 36. 36. Anyone that can quickly read. Of Acts 9, 36. 36. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. 
a disciple that is serving God. They have a work they are doing. But her work was she normally take care of the widows. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. She normally shows mercy unto people. Yes, ma. Ati tori anu. Yes, ma. Ma, o si she, o fe ki, o si she ni o jo wani. Yes, ma. Yes. O sha isan. O ku. I want to make English lower. Oh, I don't just scream. Nigga, ti wawwe ton. Yes, ma. Mm-mm. Yes, ma. Sumo, I be sumo. Yes, ma. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Oba won lo. Yes. Yes, ma. Eka we. And So the work that she usually did in the church was she took care of the widows. And they brought out the clothes. The one that she bought for me is this. This is the one that she gave me. The works of her hands was showing for. My question today is God wants you to have something that you are doing. There's nothing that you're looking for that God cannot give unto you. But sometimes we want deceit. God is not wicked. There is nothing that your heart desires that is not with God. Until this word starts to reign in your heart. Until you give him the space. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Ni ba tikini ma. Igba ti ko ti ku. Ibi tu mo lo niye. God bless you, ma. Moni mo fe ko ro ko kola haroy. I want you to think of something today. Kili mi no le she. What can I do? Elo mi wal. Oh wal ane wal bi ba. Some people are here in our midst today. Omo inu Facebook. And they know all about Facebook. Omo tai. They know the insides and outsides of it. Ah, elo mi to ba mo Instagram ba. Some people with Instagram, there is nothing they can't do with it. Ni to toki ni ok. In what way are you using your gifts for God? God gave you all these things. He wants you to use it for him. He wants you to use it to lift up his name. And for the upliftment of his name. Let's go back into the Bible. When you do all these things and it is your usual custom and it's something you do all the time and it's something that you're using for God then God promised himself. He said everything else you search for he will let it locate you. I'm praying today as you release yourself for God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth everything you have Desire. Mercy will release it. Amen. Mercy will release it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Firstly, the gift we can receive in serving God is protection. Firstly, the gift that we can receive from serving God is protection. God himself will be our protector. Listen to me this day. There are some people that will be in Israel right now. There is nowhere they can run to. And God will protect them. Are you here at church? There was a mommy that said her um, testimony on the Facebook of US and Canada program. He said like a five-year-old, three-year-old child fell down from the five-story building and nothing happened to that child. Who protected the child? Some people, their car just hit something slightly and they died. If you give your life to God, He will protect you. 
There is no work that the prophet can do for you. There is nothing that the Muslim cleric can give you. Or even the herbalist. It cannot be like God being the protector for you. Father Adeboye wrote his life story. That when he was yet to know God. That they took him to the herbalist place. And they gave him charms. And he put it on his car. And he said it's at that particular time. That they had the car had an accident. Why? Why? Because there's nowhere else protection is but from God. I plead with you today. Your life may be long. You can grow old. When we are talking about protection, anyone that is under protection, cancer cannot kill them. I don't see any battle that can be raised up, it cannot kill them. Why? Because you are under the refuge of God Almighty. But God protects those that serve Him and there is beloved. I'm pleading with you today. If they say you should serve God or release your wisdom for Him, you are not doing it for the pastor. You are doing it for yourself Why? because he has rewards. I'm praying today everyone that arises in battle against you, I want you to say amen. You will see the wrath of God. Amen. The world we are living in is most terrible. I'm not frightening us but I'm telling you what I know about this world. In Lagos, they take the sands from someone's the, the sole of one's feet. And you will not know they've taken the sand from the sole of your feet. And they will finish evil works on it. But there's someone that will not allow those things to respond. And that is God. If the prophet finishes the work, if God is behind you, it will not be accepted. Let them fast. Let them do night vigils. Let them gather themselves together. He said, if not of the Lord, it will not stand. Do you know the amount of cows that they killed? Because of the children of Israel. Balaam said, that as I open my mouth, there is blessings coming forth. And Balak was upset. He said that he should curse them. He said he doesn't understand. If God is with you, I have not seen any power. I am speaking in the name of Jesus. The protection that you should see for the end of this year. The heavens will protect you. Amen. Oh my fear, boy, you're poor, man. Those who protect your children. Oh my fear, boy, boy, you're poor. Those who protect your spouse. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A, a man was giving his testimony. And the man of God read his testimony. He said in a certain year, he usually remembers that he's a member of a church. They were in a plane. And all of a sudden, the storm rose. And the plane was cut in two in the midst of the earth. And everyone else died. But that man was the sole survivor. God has power to that extent. There will be 10 people in a car. And one of his beloved will be in there. And the, the car will somersault six times. And the rest of them will die. And that person will just come out on hard. They will say, how did you do it? He will say he doesn't understand. The hand that sustained that person could have sustained the rest. By speaking in the name of God, the rest of this year, protection will be over you. Amen. It will be over me. Amen. Amen. It will be Oh my God, Lord, I am. You are your spouse. Amen. I speak in the name of oh, Jesus. You will not walk wrongly. Oh, shall we? Oh, this shit. You will not walk or eat wrongly. Oh, they walk on that. You will not enter a cup of blood. Oh, they go on that. They will not take your cups out. Oh, they will not go to the Lord. They will not buy his casket for you. They will not go to the Lord. The journey you went back on. Oh, they will not go to the Lord. That has no return. Oh, shall we? Oh, they will not go to the Lord. The person that will die today or tomorrow is a He will not enter a vehicle with them. I will not go along with them. I speak with the command of authority. My life and your life. You have God in this year. Amen. This month we are in. 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 This
name of Jesus. Amen. Don't forget. There's something you need to remember. Giving your life to God and giving your time to him will give one protection. You can't just lock yourself at home. You will need to go out. Mommy saw mommy's elder one was giving their testimony they were calling the man of God giving their testimony and they thank God almighty that God did a house for them and they were happy and they wanted to enter back into that house and someone just blocked the entrance to their house and they came out and they pleaded with the person I want to put the car in and the person said no problem and they turned around and they, they just said they are a good person that is a good person and they stretched a gun at them I'm talking about protection what I'm saying some people don't understand you need protection if your life will be lost he has to do under the protection that you are but, are but I speak today abo, abo, protection that is certain the one that protected Egypt. them in Egypt in Goshen and let death come to where they were you will say amen abo, my protection will be over you amen my protection will be over you amen Children, if you have a spot, say God of protection, protect me, protect my children, protect my husband, everything I have, let protection be upon it. They were, he was just saying he's a good person. Good man. He's a good man. Good man. He's a good man. He's a good man. Who are they calling a good man? And by the time they look, they have stretched a gun at them. What did he do? If, if he was shouting at the person, then he would know and they would oh, just be looking at each other. But he just said he hurt. And he didn't fight. And just turned. It wasn't just the man. But me, come walk and but me. But the spirit that entered into him, that just shoot him. Oh, no, 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 Protection will be over you, amen. You will not take your cups out of a oh, cup, amen. You will not die at home. Oh, you will not die eating. Oh, you will not die from your sleep. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen attentively to me. Serving God, it has rewards. It makes his people protected. The death was killing them in the land of Egypt. And Israel were living in that same land. But death did not come upon Why? them. Because they were the beloved of the Lord. Because it means that some people will not die in this country before the end of the year. But the protection of God is upon us. I speak in the name of Jesus. Everyone they put a mark of death upon. Will you say man? Will you say you are not from there? Mercy will take us away from them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Choko. Be seated. I'm just letting you understand. That I'm misgiving your time for God. And what you have for God. One will have the grace of protection. So many people that are chasing after you that you do not know. It's only God that didn't place you in their hands. So many works they did. There was a young man that said, You went to go and pray for him. And his father sell aeroplane parts. A young man. And he came to study abroad. And then he got to this country very recently. He was just passing around the bullish area. And the wind just blew on him. And he fell. Immediately, he could not lift his hands. He couldn't lift his legs. And everything died. The vision he had died. And the vision that he had to be great. And they made him sit in one place. I speak in the name of God. Did you hear Psalm 91? He said, for the arrow that fly by 
That means there is no battle that the world can send to us. Did you hear that question? He said, who is that God that can save them? If you have God and you're someone that gives your whole life to him, don't forget this word. It's not because of today, because of tomorrow. Your protection is certain. That's what some people are looking for all over the place. They will give them incisions. They put uh, rings on their hands. Some people, they are in the occult. You can't know all these things. They enter those places because they need to be protected. There are some elderly people that have used their children for contribution in the call. They didn't enter there to contribute their children, but they went there to be protected. And then he turned against them. And they are taking their children from them. But what took them into that position? Because they are looking for protection. There is no protection from anywhere else except with Jesus. If Jesus doesn't protect you, there is none. So he's calling you today that you should just give your time to him and give him your time. Use what you have for him and he's promising that he will protect you. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So these men were so these men wearing those 
Those that wanted to put them into the fire died. Look at the difference with the protection. And I want us to look at this lesson very well. And let us walk in the spirit concerning it. The person that wants to put someone in the fire. Died. And the person that they put in the fire did not die. So what killed the ones that wanted to put it, them in the fire should have killed them as well. Are you here, church? Look at the place you are reading. Someone that wanted to put someone in the fire died. And those that they put in the fire did not die. Why didn't they die? Because of the protection. They can say there's a sickness in the land. It's not everyone that will be afflicted with that sickness. It's those that know God, it won't afflict them. Will you say amen? The threatening this year is removed from you, amen. If that is killing anyone, that mustn't come upon me. I know my God, and I know his power. Fellow, if death is killing everyone, that doesn't kill me. If everyone is falling sick, I mustn't fall sick. I know my God, and I know his power. He will not take his glory from my life unto another. I speak in the name of Jesus. Everything that they are searching for you this year. Say amen. Blessing will make you escape. Amen. Blessing will make you escape. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm. God bless you, man. You're going to rise to your feet right now. And you're going to pray. You pray with all your strength and might. Lord, till I die, I want to have the grace of your protection. What did I say? Lord, all my days, I want to enjoy the grace of your protection. Father Debo was giving his testimony. It's a long time ago. He said he wanted to open the door of the car. And he doesn't know the hand. And he just pressed him by the car. And he was thinking, which hand is pressing me down? And there was a car that just flew past. And then the wind went went past him. And he didn't see any hand. Not knowing it was God himself that pushed him there. If not for God, that car will have just hit him. I pray for you. If it's just a little, but if you fall into this trap, will you say I that I will save you and your children? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to pray. And I'm telling the one that called me. We're going to cross over together. Amen. We'll cross over together. Amen. We will not lose our children. We will not lose the children. You will call the name of Jesus. God will protect you. Protect me, oh God. If I'm walking on the ground, protect me. If I'm in the sky, protect me. If I'm on the sea, protect me. If I'm on the sea, protect me. If I'm on the sea, protect me. If I'm sleeping, protect me. God will protect me. Be my protector. Be my Jesus and prayer. You will pray with all your strength and might. Ask for protection in the name of Jesus. Not protection. Not protection. Not protection. Not other protection. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Not protection. Not protection. Surround me with protection. Surround me with protection. In the name of Jesus. Surround me with protection. 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 Surround me with protection.
If you brought your water, just hold on to it. And if you have your oil, hold on to it as well. Those that don't have water, you can raise up your hands. And the ushers will get one across to you. Just hold on to it. 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 Just hold on to if you brought your water, your, the prayers will enter into your water. You didn't bring the water in your hands. If you did not bring it, but if you have your own water, your prayers will enter into it and you'll be answered. Because of time. Do we have all have water in our hands? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can't talk about a place. Can we pray? To the time, Ejo, Ejo. Lord, Kia, Kia, Kia. Thank you, sir. I just want to drop that. Oh man, no me yes, okay. You raise up the water. I heard Sister Tammy's testimony earlier. She said she used the oil. And she put it where she was experiencing pain. And she saw the hand of God. God is my witness. I, I didn't say that you should bring water and I not use. I have my own water as well. And I pray on it. Every day I use it. I don't have anything else. The instruction he gave me is this. Well, then tell me. And I follow it. Well, then for me. And it's working for me. If you are coming here and you don't follow what God has said unto me, me. me. if you don't see signs, don't say that I'm, I'm not sent. Don't say so. It may be nothing before you. Just follow it. Jesus told his disciples when the wine finished, he said, go and take water. And they said, sir, wine it's wine that finished. And the mother said, don't argue with oh, him. Whatever he asks you to do, eh, just do it. And they come There's someone in this oh, meeting. Feel you feel pain in your ear. If God of Apostles called you, before the one I stand, to go past one minute, that pain will disappear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The one that has a pain in the breast, I breast, command right James, now in the name of Jesus, that pain disappears. In the name of Jesus. 
someone in this meeting. You have something to defend. And you speak before people concerning it. I speak in the name of the one that called me. Jesus will speak through you. Amen. What you say will be acceptable. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't forget. If you give your life unto God. Who was Shadrach? Who was Shadrach? Meshach. Meshach. Meshach and Abednego. Tani Woma. Who are they? They, they were servants of God. They gave their life to serve God. But they didn't have power at that but stage. God but God himself came down. And he was protection for them. So if you serve God. Let anyone be changed. You, so you, you may not know. But God will protect you. We are the ones that don't know. When we are sleeping at home. Some many people are coming through the walls to meet us. But they can't enter to where they are. Because there is a protection of God. After today. Yeah, they can't even know if what you be saying. Show my shame. Oh my dear, no one to Oh my dear, no one to do. Oh my dear, no one to do. Only for so we talk. She has just said, What? She has power. I want to back to the house. I want to let me show my shame. They are the caribatory of the one that says incantation. Shame off for Yama. If anyone takes sacrifice because of you, you will say amen. That sacrifice will kill them. Amen. Hey, Tisha. You haven't seen it. One man know he bust in your body. They'll stretch a gun at someone. And it will not come and out. And they die. They die. They die. And you come out from the other side of like you because you should. I speak with the commander. Oh, the man just won't answer. Be a the caribat no he bust in your body. Show me a shame. He bust in my body. You didn't read that lesson. I want to offer them what sin we know. I want to put them in the fire. They die. 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 They You are not doing it for the pastor. You are doing it for yourself. Here. The pastor, he had a, a fire of a revival. A revival. And they did the first day signs manifested. The Bible is real. It is not just in the time of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The man of God himself. He went to see someone one day. And he got to the place and entered. Him and the person that took him in Nigeria. In Nigeria. And for them to come out again in the evening and they blocked the car. But as the word and man of God does, someone can be following them without him knowing who blocked the car. The person that we went to that meeting there said, We have to leave the place. From house to house, they were looking for the person that owns the car. They didn't know the person that blocked the bed. And he said, Don't worry. They will call an Uber for them. And then the next day, they should come and take the car. And they left there. Look at what God did there. If anyone is expecting that my car will come out, they will wait forever. Why? Because God had blocked them there and they had gone to another place. I speak today. Everywhere the enemy is looking on to will you say amen? The person will save you from the enemy. Oh, Shami, I know my will save you from the enemy. I know my 
fire in the name of Jesus. Here, when the morning came, you got there to pick up the car. And he said, Sir, it was a neighbor that owned the car. I said, Your neighbor, he said, the, the day before he didn't go there. Because that's not the actual car. And they said they took someone else's car and brought it home. That that if not so, they won't but see them. But God promises because he's the one that does something for a reason. I mean, you should say, you fall in the trap of your enemies. I I know my fire. Jesus! Amen! What me is now you alone? Everyone around you. you. Whether you're a child, whether you're a wife, because you are here, that place will locate them in the name of Jesus. It will locate your father. It will locate your mother. It will locate your elder It will locate your younger In the name of Jesus! I'm saying that it is complete. That is your Lord. It is perfect when you serve God. Hear this priest. Oh, minister. He ministered. Oh, God, I mean, First day signs manifested. Oh, he called the altar call. Oh, God, I mean, and those that were in witchcraft, oh, God, I mean, they came out. Oh, God, I mean, they gave their life to Jesus. Oh, God, I mean, and even the herbalists came out. Oh, God, I mean, and some people gathered together. Oh, God, I mean, they said if they don't kill that man of God, oh, God I mean, that you change that land. But someone sat. Oh, I love that song. Ba-ba-wa. Ba-ba-wa. Our father. Ba-ba-wa. Our father. I want those are planning to do I wanna where are they Wada. where are they Baba Jo Baba Jo Kosinu He sits in his temple wo oh, and ah, yeah. and what the world is doing Mommy kilo shema He's sitting oh, oh, oh. and he's looking ah. <laughs> Go go I want to go I want to go oh the Lord do it you will not see the end of this Shoma shami e mi ati e ma ji akara o it's their funeral food amen ama ji akara o it's their funeral food in the name of jesus amen you pray this prayer with all your strength you pray all that you pray with your spirit and mind there's someone in this meeting your child wants to do an exam and you desire for them to succeed God said you should make a covenant with you and you have said to him that you will not suffer 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 you and he ever pray. And the person prayed. And then the second day, they are done the plan. But that once he comes on the altar, they will just shoot him. And he will die on the altar. But I don't work for sir. But who is he working for? He's working for God. He's working for God. And God honors His word as a priest. And he got to that day. And then the rain was about to fall. And he was walking. And he looked at the sky. That why should he rain? He's supposed to do it. And we saw this is the final day. And he said, God, if I'm a child of God, this rain must not fall. As he called, the rain just fell down. And he said, what will you do as a priest? He said, what will you do as a priest? He was so pained that God mocked him there. He was so pained. And he just prayed. And he dropped the mic. And they said they should, they should not call him a man of God anymore. That God did not answer him. And he went home. And people went away. With sorrow. They were so unhappy. Because he said it with assurance. And then he went. As it was the next day. Some people knocked on his door. And they knocked. And he said, is there a problem? He said, they're asking for the man of God. He said, didn't you do the, the, the revival? That signs manifested. And he said, it's him. He said, but today. He said, he's not a man of God anymore. That he called him yesterday. And God did not respond to him. That he mocked him publicly. So he's not a person of God anymore. And they said that yesterday we will have died. I want to share to God. That they had already made out the plans. That she comes on the altar. That's when the rain is about to fall. But the, the 
thing that is the taboo of the gun they have, the God God. that rain mustn't fall on it. And he said as he started, and they saw the rain, they said, set him. He said, God that is fighting for him. But if not for God, that rain will not have come. The people who are doing it, they are not going to come. Show me, show me. Only one of my father. Amen. 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 Sometimes when he tells you no, it doesn't mean he hates you. Learn from that lesson. No. The law. No, no, no. No. It doesn't mean he hates you. It can be because of you. So so that he can move your head forward. forward. So that your life will be long. And then he prostrated. He said, God, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you were fighting for me. God said he purposely preserved you. Because he still has work to do for you. I pray in the name of God. The dead are the enemy wants to come against you. But don't you have God? Don't you say you have everything God? Don't, don't you say you are God. God. It's just a mix. Oh, no, the Bible will show himself. Amen. Why don't me allow him? You hold on to the water. You call the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for protection. You are protect me. Protect my children. Let protection be above my spouse. Every day I use another. Oh, to all the days of my life. Let me enjoy the grace of protection. Let me enjoy the grace of protection. Let me enjoy the grace of protection. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The world will not cut me down. They will not kill me before my time. I will not eat poison. I will not eat 
poison. Poison it, Pammy. Poison will not kill me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You only get poison. I will not eat poison. In the name of Jesus. Only go to the Magdal Tony Oro. You say you, I will eat poison. Only Pamela. I will not have me. Mamma Tony Oro. I will drink poison. Only Shemin and Kaka. I will not have me. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus. The world will not kill me. They will not be able to kill me. They will not be able to kill my spouse. They will not be able to kill my children. Any chance will not affect me. Anything they said to me will not harm me. Any leaves I have will not hurt me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, you should be able to speak out loud. Just a little time left. Just a little time left. Just a little time left. I will release my life when the time comes. It will not be taken away from me. My life will not be taken away from me. My life will not be taken away from me. The person that will not give me life will not take it. Jesus, hello, I want. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus, amen. We're going to pray this one prayer and then I'll release us. Don't forget what brought us into this world. If you release yourself unto God, I'm pleading with you today. It's perfect, it's complete. This is the one that is left. The person that didn't give me life, let them not take away my life. What did I say? The person that did not give me life, let them not take away my life. The person that did not give me life, let them not take away my life. That young man had died. You didn't hear his song. If he was a prophet or someone that knew God, what would have happened to him? His prophet, as a prophet, he would be powerful. He said if he dies, there will be problems. And as he said it, it happened. But still, he ended up dying. Those that did not give him life, they were asking of it. They killed Naboth. He didn't want to die. Abel did not want to die. They didn't say they won't kill Moses. But there was protection over Moses. You're going to pray. The person that didn't give me life will not take away my life. I'm the one that will release my life. The Bible says that Jacob released his life himself. It wasn't taken from you. The world will not be able to take your life in the name of Jesus. The world will not be able to take your life. You will not be able to take your life and mine. You will not be able to take your life and mine. You will not be able to take your life and mine. You will not be able to take your life and mine. Hallelujah. Is it cancer that gave you life? Diabetes. Is it diabetes? Fibroid. Is it fibroid? Osho. Is it wizards? Babalawo. Is it herbalists? Ibo. Is it God? What give you life? God. The person that didn't give me life will not take it away from me. And the one I will receive. 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 You pray. The person that didn't give me life. Do not take it away from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The person that didn't give my spouse life will not take it away. God will not follow me. That knife will not take my life. Poison will not take my life. There is no sickness upon this world. Or the world coming. It will not take my life. Accident will not take my life. Wizards will not take my life. Witches will not take my life. Babalists will not take my life. Anyone born of a woman taken out by a pressure. Who have been born tonight? 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 Who have been born tonight?
So will I do. What we've said now, it's been established. Amen. What we are saying today, the authority is upon it. Amen. But I'm pleading with you, in what way will you be useful to God? In what way do you want God to use you? Is it money? So many programs are ahead of us. All over. By God's grace next year. So many places, countries that we need to go to. With the grace of God Almighty. I need to cost money. In what way do you want God to use you? I'm saying it and I'm pleading with God in this church we that will be borrowing nations money. Amen. God will lift us up. Amen. But we'll start from somewhere. We'll start from somewhere. You yourself single-handedly, you can even build a church for God. You can start from somewhere. If God sees your heart and sees the heart you have, He will make you great. How much is even the, the low, the expenses of the church? I want to be able to take care of it. I want the altar to be in good condition, to be beautiful. There can be a screen in front of the altar that will be being displayed. I want you to think as well just within a minute I want you to enter a covenant with God I want you to speak to God there's something you love so much he loves so much when you win souls for him there's joy in heaven if one sinner turn it to repentance I want you to tell God now Lord use me use me I need nurses as well because next year we're going to go into Nigeria so many people People that need medical help in the villages where they need help. The sickness that killed them wasn't up to anything. God didn't just give you that wisdom alone. He didn't just let you go and read and be educated that way. Those that can travel along with us. Those that can release themselves unto Jesus. Those that want to use their wisdom to for God. In what way do you want God to use you? Begin to make a covenant with him now. Begin to tell Jesus. Lord, I enter into this covenant with you. I ask for grace. I want to be useful unto you. I want to work for you with all my mind. You see, doctors, they were raising up the clothes she made for them. That this is the proof. This is the work she did. That he gave, she gave them clothes. She did this and that unto her. And what can we say about you? What will be written down concerning you? Begin to tell Jesus now. Lord, I want you to use me. I want you to use me, Father. I want to work for you. I want to lift up your name. I want to announce you to the dead. I want people to you to know. I want them to work for me. I want my money to work for me. I want my strength to work for me. I want my wisdom to work for me. Speak to Jesus now. Just a little time left. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Please sing with me. Morio. Mario, I see your works in my life. I see it. I see it. If as small as I am, you delivered me by mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Father. As little as I am, you by mercy delivered me. Thank you, Father. I see your hand in my life. I see it. I see it, oh Lord. I see your works in my life. I see it. I see it, oh Lord. Even as small as I am, you delivered me by mercy. Thank you, Father. As young as I am, you delivered me by mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Loro ko Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Like bare je Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus. Moda o go atola pada. I give all glory and honor back to your God. Ojo no re bi ano. This is the day like yesterday. December thirty first. December thirty first. Erumba wa. We are afraid. We're looking at it ahead. But you made us enter it in joy and in peace. You made a covenant with us that we will not lose anyone. We thank you, O God. Except I'm ungrateful. That's when I will say, I didn't see your hand. But His mercy you used to save us. It's not by works. Thank you, Lord. God, I called me, I thank you. God of my forefathers, I thank you. If I obtain mercy and grace from you, God, those that are here, there are some that are not here. There are some all over. They believe in this calling. They believe in God. I've not seen them before. But they believe. I plead with you, God. By the grace of your only Son, Jesus Christ. Let's not lose anyone. Amen. Let's not stand a minute silence. Amen. Those around us. Those that are here. That will not come upon us. Amen. I ask for your hand, O God. That puts a mark upon a person. I said, no one should trouble me. I carry the mark of Christ from today ends forth. Let the mark that the world not be able to trouble us. Let the mark come upon us. Amen. Let it be upon our husbands. Let it be upon our houses. Everywhere we go to, the mark you put upon that and the lion wasn't able to hurt him. The mark that will be will come a war. That will come honored in the name of Jesus. That mark will come upon us. Amen. The water that we carry Lord, turn it to protection. Amen. Turn the water to protection. Amen. Turn the water to protection. Amen. We thank you that you've heard. We're going to a covenant with you, God. We ask for help. Lord, help us. Amen. Uphold us till the end. We thank you that you've heard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Jesus.